welcome back to my channel it's Malik Jante and guys let me tell you this Fenty collection or Fenty Beauty has been growing and Rihanna released the Galaxy collection and today we are going to accomplish that with these space buns so I wanted to do the whole theme around the Galaxy collection and what better way to do that than space buns so this is on freshly washed natural hair um, so my hair has been conditioned and detangled everything so I'm going to go ahead and part it down the middle put the other side to the side so that I can handle the right side first I'm using this Jamaican castor oil just to keep my hair moisturized as it is in these two buns go ahead and moisturize that all the way through and then add some can to shea butter leave in conditioner because Honey, you can't have dry hair when you're trying to do a protective style. That's the total opposite of a protective style, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and comb that all the way through and use a wide tooth comb so I can make sure it does coat every strand of hair that I do have. Now following that, I'm going to go in with this Eco Styler. This is the clear gel. Um, and go ahead and apply the gel to all of my edges the inside of the part as well as the back of my hair because you don't want to have a slick down front and then a nappy back that's just not cute let's not do it ladies if I see it I might side eye you I'm just saying I'm just being honest then we're gonna go ahead and go in with a hard bristle brush so that it can grab every br um, curl that I have and brush that all the way up I'm going to use an Ouchless um, ponytail holder. It doesn't have the metal piece in there so it doesn't catch on my natural hair which is always a plus. So I'm going to go ahead and use that wide tooth comb again to pull my um, natural hair so that the ponytail can be as flat as possible and go ahead and wrap that around and make a mini bun. Um, but before I do that mini bun, I want to comb out these curls. And go ahead and twist it down so it's as much of a ball as possible to wrap the hair around once I get to that part. So I'm twisting it up all the way to the end and then wrapping around and putting another ponytail holder on top. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So I condition as well as put oil in it. And now we're going to go ahead and twist this hair after we put this ponytail in. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and twist this in and then wrap it around like we did the other side and put another ponytail holder on there to secure the mini buns. So I'm using Marley hair. These were already pre-put to the side, um, but I used six strands of the Marley hair and put a ponytail holder around it so that I can just grab it onto the buns that I put there, twist it all the way down, and then sing my heart out clearly. And, and wrap it around um, I try not to do it too tight just let it flow wrap it around so it's nice full buns and I do that to the other side as well now from there we have to lay these baby hairs up so we're going back in with the eco styler and we are going to apply that to the edges and use a good old toothbrush and lay those edges down just lay lay until you are satisfied lay honey keep going now I do see the white residue that's on my hair but that's from that leave-in conditioner um, and once my hair dries it's not there anymore so I don't worry about it um, my hair is wet so it's normal for it to look like that so I'm gonna go ahead going to go ahead whoa and lay down both sides with the eco styler make sure I get the back of my hair as well and get a good old scarf honey and lay this hair down while I do my makeup. Now I'm going in with the um, Benefit Brow Pencil and this is the Precise Brow in number four. And I'm going ahead, you all have seen my eyebrow tutorial. If you haven't, there should be an icon 
up above where you can go ahead and click on that video and see how I do my eyebrows. I still have not gotten them done since that video. Eh, not in a rush. My eyebrows still look good once I do them. So no worries there. Go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Do a little bit of strokes in the front just to make it, make it as natural as possible. And then what I do to one side, you do to the other. Now, I'm not a big fan of the like overly precise eyebrows that look exactly the same. Because let's be honest guys, our eyebrows don't look the same. Okay. Um, and then I'm going in with the Mary Kay concealer. It is in the color light and I am just cleaning up what I did before with my eyebrows. So I'm cleaning that up at the bottom. I'm not really doing the top. Haven't been really doing that much because I just don't feel like it. <laughs> to be honest, I don't feel like it. And sometimes it leaves that halo look and nobody wants halo eyebrows. Well, I don't want halo eyebrows personal preference and then I'm going in with my body blender which is the real techniques body blender or it's a body blender but it's also a face blender so go ahead and blend that all the way down so that you can't really see that I use concealer but it's popping girl so we're going in with the NYX first base I cannot talk today guys Guys, the NYX First Base Primer. Go ahead and spray that on and let it soak in, honey. Yeah. Ooh, boiling. So, I thought that I wanted to go in with foundation first and get that taken care of, which I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in a color 40, 420. But then I decided I wanted to do my eyeshadow first. Um, so, I'm going in with the Tardius Pro Palette. It's more of a matte shades because the Galaxy Collection, if you haven't been aware, um, does not have matte shades. So I wanted to start off with a base so that those eyeshadows could pop. So I am going in with this burnt orange shade and going into my crease and using circular and back and forth motions just to make it as defined as possible and give it a base in transition for the glitter shadows that I'm going to be using through the Galaxy Collection. And then I'm going in with a Tartlet um, palette as well and using a dark burgundy color and I'm putting it right in the corners of my eye and then pulling it all the way in. So corner and then circular motions all the way in ma'am circular motions all the way in you just want to make sure that those colors are blending together well you don't want it to be very harsh when they finally set between one another because then it just looks like you put orange and burger tea together and didn't blend it out and it just looks a hot mess hot mess hot mess not cute so from there i'm using this lighter burgundy shade and i'm putting that on my lid so that when i put those glitter shades on there it has a base and something to connect to um, so I'm just putting that on both lids from there we are going in with this lovely lovely palette do y'all see this casing this packaging is everything honey everything so as you can see the shades are very vibrant and iridescent um, so we're going in with this red shade and putting it on the lid or so I thought I think I wanted to mix them together so I used the lighter shade first and I put that on my lid so it has some balance something to go off of something to mix together and it's a little bit more of a sheer shadow than the next color that I'm going to use but all the shades that I'm using in this palette will be listed below. So the next shade, I'm gonna go ahead and spray um, the actual brush and then pack in that red glitter shadow and literally packing it, Lord. Y'all see that? Got distracted. 
packing it in, pack, 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 packing it in. Because you just want to layer it as much as possible. But honey, y'all just don't understand how much this, this palette just made me happy. Like, the colors show up so well. I love this palette. So I'm going back in with that first shade and just adding it in and blending it to that blending area. Um, just so that it has some transition, right in the transitional stages. And going in with that lighter shade of burgundy and putting that in the middle as well so that it blends very well. The key to eyeshadow, even if you just mix random colors together and they don't go, is blending. If you blend, you have nothing wrong is going to happen. So we're going to go in with the Fenty foundation. I use two pumps. That's all I need to cover my face. And I am applying that all over. Now following that, I am going to go in with the Matchsticks Trio. I'm going to use the color Caramel and put, apply that right underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, as well as on the temple of my forehead um, so we can highlight this face, honey. Now from there, y'all, I'm so in love with the fact that those things actually stick together. It's just like genius. But I'm using the blender again, using the opposite side that I didn't use the foundation for, and blending out this concealer as well as possible. So after many uses of this, like I've learned that this this concealer is everything. And some people say it's not creamy. I think it's creamy. It works perfect for me. And then I'm going in with the truffle contouring stick and applying that in the hollows of my cheek, around my forehead, and down the bridge of my nose. You know, just to give me that snatched look, candy. Snatched. So I'm using a flat head brush and I'm going ahead and blending that out, blending up, blending down, but blending nonetheless so that it doesn't look harsh and out of control and it doesn't look like just dirt that I put on my face. And yes, sometimes it looks, in the camera, I look really dark. However, once everything settles and is blended, I look like perfection, so no worries. Just blend everything out. Don't overly stress, just keep blending things out. Just like this, I changed brushes and this is an angled flat top brush and I'm going back in and blending this some more. If you see things don't look as well as you want them to, just keep blending and keep going. You can definitely correct. And then I'm going in with the Mary Kay Translucent powder. This is my holy grail, which I'm almost out like literally I'm pulling it to the end But going ahead and putting that translucent powder where I put concealer at and packing that in Underneath my eyes under that contour as well as down the bridge of my nose forehead and chin and then using a fluffy brush and wiping away that excess powder Now from there, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette and I am using that pale pink and the fuchsia pink and mixing them together. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cheekbones. Now I know sometimes people go overboard with the cheeks as well, but just keep blending. It's okay. Just keep blending. It'll work out for you. Just keep blending. And then we're going to go in with a white eyeliner because I feel like Galaxy is a little extra 
a little rah-rah. So I'm putting that in my waterline underneath my eyes just so that my eyes will pop even more. And then off camera, I did some lashes. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to do mascara at the bottom or not. And uh, guess what? I opted to do it. So we're using the Bella Pierre mascara to apply that to the bottom of my lashes. And then it is hot light time. Girl, it's time to shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Yes, we need to shine. So we're using the Rum Matchstick Highlighter and applying that to my cheekbones and then down the bridge of my nose and on my cube as well. And I put a little shadow underneath my eyebrows on my brow bone. I don't like to go over the top with that because I just think it's too much. Sometimes it's just too much, personally. But I wanted to pack on the highlighter and I needed a pale pink. So I went back to my Holy Grail, the Carly Bible um, BH Cosmetics palette and honey. The mix between rum and that pale pink, because it doesn't have a shade color. Sorry, guys. Amazing. Like, uh, amazing. It's sickening. I love it so much. Love it. And then we're going to go in with a very precise um, eyebrow or eyebrow, a brush, and go into the inner corners of my eyebrow with a purple um, shadow from the Galaxy Collection and apply that just in the corners of my eyes. We're gonna go ahead with this NYX setting spray and set this foundation, this look all the way. I love this finishing matte spray, everything. And then I didn't get any of the lip glosses from the Galaxy Collection. Just didn't really want too much glittery lip gloss because I knew I wouldn't use it. Um, and I have this metallic shade that I got from Victoria's Secret a long time ago. So I went ahead and applied that. And it kind of like, depending on what way you looked at it, looks a little blue, looks a little purple, looks a little silver. Who knows? Love it though with this look. And then we're going to take this scarf off. And honey, do you see those baby hairs? They are laid. L laid. And girl... That is the look, giving looks. Ooh, just kill him, girl, kill him. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, y'all, I'm crazy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See all the good things face. Looking at my past ain't right. But I swear you came my way. Like an angel fell from the sky, no lie